Hey kids, remember what Cool Cat says? If somebody bothers to criticize your work, remember to bully and harass them, take unnecessary legal actions upon them, and most of all, ruin their lives. Now, for those who don't understand what the heck is going on, well, here's the gist of it. There's this man who goes by the name of Derek Savage, who writes books and makes movies for kids and adults. One of his recent and most infamous creations is Cool Cat Saves the Kids, a movie made for the purpose of educating viewers about bullying, gun safety. Similar to The Room, Cool Cat Saves the Kids is well known for its poor quality acting and cheesy writing. It's one of those movies that's so bad it's good. A lot of the memes and publicity surrounding Cool Cat can be attribu attributed to the movie reviewer YourMovieSucks.org, who did a review of Cool Cat Saves the Kids. Even Derek Savage himself endorsed the review. However, there has recently been a fiasco going on regarding Derek Savage and many of the Cool Cat reviews. Basically, Derek Savage has been going on a rampant rampage, taking down negative reviews of his movie for quote-unquote copyright infringement. Many of these reviews in particular were from Bob Show, Josiah Clark, and I Hate Everything. I Hate Everything in particular being the one who had the most negative effect out of all of them, as he has been harassed and legally threatened by Derek Savage. And because of this, Derek has been getting a lot of flack for this, and, you know, for good reason. As what Derek Savage did was not only wrong, but also goes against fair use and freedom of speech. Just recently, Daddy Derek released a video on his YouTube channel, which is, goes by the name of Cool Cat Funhouse, that goes over copyright infringement and fair use. And... And oh boy, do I have a lot to say about this particular video. I'm gonna ha- let's just say, I'm gonna have a field day with this. Hi, I'm Derek Savage of Cool Cat Productions. I'm the creator of Cool Cat and I also produce and direct the feature films. Hey, and the reason I'm making this video today is, last week I took down several videos that were copyright infringing against my content. Now guys, Let's keep in mind that most of these videos that quote unquote copyright infringed on Derek's movie were actually just reviews of the movie. One of those reviews, the one from Josiah Clark in particular, was even endorsed by Derek Savage himself. A review of a movie or video game falls under the category of fair use, even when footage is used as footage from said movie or video game can help illustrate a point being said about said v video game or movie. These reviews offer a different meaning or purpose from the actual movie, which therefore makes it fair use. Damn! We're already a couple seconds into the video and I'm already seeing some glaring issues. And and I've got a little little heat for doing it. Now, um. There is so many lies and just misinformation on the internet about copyright infringement and fair use. So I want to make this video to show you the difference between the two right there. Spoiler alert, he barely even does this. All he really does is just list off a couple of previous cases and doesn't actually provide information about how these incidents fall into either fair use or copyright infringement. Not only that, but he even spreads out obvious information in blatant lies. I will admit though, he is right that you can't believe everything you hear on the internet, and there are some common misconceptions about both fair use and copyright infringement. But I want to state this for a fact, and listen closely to me. You are being lied to. You are being treated just like you're a little stinking punk. You're being deceived. Hmm. Let's be honest here. Should I really trust a former Playgirl model who can't even handle criticism of his own work? As I have said before, I hate everything's review, Bob Shiox's review, and Josiah Clark's review who you even endorsed, by the way, fell under 
the requirements of fair use. And the thing is on one of the videos at timestamp 445 was said, the person said, I'm going to milk it for everything I can. For those of you who don't know which video that was from, that was from I Hate Everything's review. But still, I Hate Everything's videos are based around exaggeration. He was exaggerating. Not only that, but when he said, I'm going to milk this for all it's worth, what he meant by that is that he was going to take every opportunity to poke fun at your stupid movie. If you can't even take a goddamn joke, then how in the land of the living dead is anyone going to take you seriously? Several days ago, I emailed this boy, and I'm calling him just right out what he is. He is a lying punk troll, and that's what he's doing to it. That is not being a bully right there to any degree. Stating a fact is a fact. I hate everything is anything but a lying punk troll. He's not what you say he is. He is a respectful and honest man who isn't afraid to say what he thinks. Sure, it wasn't a good idea to act as quickly as he did, but he did a good job exposing you for the jackass you are, Mr. Savage. I sent an email, an email, a nice email, um, just about three, three or four days ago, saying, you know, this end this crap. Excuse me, but a nice email? Hmm. Let's go take a look at I Hate Everything's video for a moment, shall we? Hey, boy. I've been receiving a lot of extremely harassing emails and YouTube comments. Some have even been death threats, and several of them state that you sent them to harass me, which legally makes liable and a co-conspirator of these illegal actions, and YouTube hates harassers. My attorneys told me to forward every harassing and offensive comment to YouTube, which I have been doing so we can build the case to have you completely shut down. I also see that you have copyright infringed numerous other films, and I know a lot of producers in Hollywood, so I'll be sharing with them on how to file a copyright claim against you and your YouTube channel. I'm advising that you better delete anything and everything that references me and or Cool Cat, and tell your hateful followers that they better never contact me again. By the way, these people were playing the same illegal games as you, and I filed against them, and their channel is now deleted. Your second and third strike is about to come on you real quickly. I'll also make sure that the fourth and fifth hit you too. Derek Savage, CC YouTube Legal Division. Your words have no meaning, and that's because you are a liar. You stated in your email that you didn't want it to escalate to this level, but yet in your recent YouTube video at the 4.45 mark, you stated that you're going to milk this for everything you can. Then at 6.28 you stated that you're not going to shut up about it. So once again, your words have no meaning and you are a liar. Last night I filed harassment charges against you and your channel with YouTube's legal division, and today my attorneys are having a Skype meeting with YouTube's lawyers about having you and your hate channel shut down. I'm still receiving a lot of extremely harassing emails and a couple new death threats, and you are ignorant if you think this comes from passion. It's because you are continually instigating this hate, and several comments state that you have sent them to harass me, which legally makes you liable and the co-conspirator of these illegal actions, and I plan to file charges against you for this. Now that we have your IP address from your email, we'll be able to discover who you are and where you live. So please be a man and submit your full legal name and address, as this will save my legal team a few minutes of hunting you down. And yes, we will find you. Today, you better delete everything that mentions me and the Cool Cat character. Then you are going to make a very short video where you publicly apologize to me and Cool Cat, and beg your hateful followers that they better never contact me again. And the video better be short, sweet, and damn sincere. If this doesn't happen today, then tomorrow I'll be contacting the producers of the other films that you've blasphemed and copyright infringed against, and you'll be receiving numerous legal complaints coming your way. Derek Savage. Are you really that stupid? You copyright infringed my movie, you attacked me, and you brought all of this onto yourself. So fuck you. And by you taking down those two hateful videos, proves that you know you're guilty and legally responsible for instigating the harassment and threats against me. And I copied the video so I have the evidence against you. So please go public with every word I've written or said, as the law is on my side, and it will only build my legal case to have your filthy, hateful channel shut down. I'm not wasting any more time with you, and this is my last email. The below is what I told Adam last night, and if I don't get all three things in writing, then you're going to have a legal firestorm blow up your ass, and you deserve every bit of it. This is what I will do to end it now. He doesn't have to publicly apologize to me via video, but he has to 1. Email me an apology, and 2. State that he will never mention my name or Cool Cat again. 
and three, state that he deleted those two nasty videos, not just put them in private mode. And this has to be done soon as my attorneys are gearing up for a legal blast against him. They are truly entertained by this situation. Once I receive the email with all three conditions fulfilled, I will pull my lawyers off of this and we will not file any new charges against him, unless he files a counter notification which we will gladly fight. Also, I will not get other producers and or production companies to file copyright infringement charges against him from his blasphemous work. So those are all the emails he sent me. Wow. Just... W wow. Either you're an idiot or a fucking liar. Well, it's most likely the latter. Nothing, and I repeat, nothing was nice about that email. Where do I even begin? First, you asked him to delete all of his Cool Cat related videos and publicly apologize in exchange for not taking legal actions, which in other words, you're forcing him to suck your cock. Then, you threatened that you and your legal team will find him. And then you called him an idiot and told him to go fuck himself. Just... Wow! And we haven't even gone to the, to the really stupid part of the video yet. Maybe you should check before you say something stupid and make a fool out of yourself, Mr. Savage. I sent an email, an email a nice email. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying. Because I CC'd Adam at YMS on this. I hate to bring Adam into this, but he is my proof that I tried to end this many days ago. In fact, um, he said, Derek, why you CC this? You know, I like Adam, first of all. Adam's a, a good-hearted man, and I know for a fact that he loves Cool Cat, and that is extremely important to me right there. So, you're justifying the actions of YMS, even though he did the exact same thing that you're scolding I Hate Everything for. But that doesn't even matter, because I Hate Everything's review and YMS's review fall under the fair, fall under the category of fair use. Also, I don't get this whole, he loves my work, so that makes him a special camper who's devoid of any criticism bullshit. How can you base your friends off of how you like your off of how they like your stuff? That's freaking stupid. Hell, by that logic, shouldn't you be okay with these reviews that you've taken down? Josiah Clark, you know, the one who you endorsed, stated he actually loved Cool Cat. Hell, even High Hate Everything stated he somewhat liked Cool Cat Saves the Kids. Your arguments are falling on your head. Here's something that people said to me. And they said, Derek, why are you doing this? This will kill your brand. Totally disagree. Well, disagree or not, that person is right. People are starting to hate you and your shitty movie simply because of what you're do of what you've been doing to I Hate Everything. What you're doing is not only considered cyberbullying, but can also be considered injustice. You're pretty much doing what any fanboy, greedy businessman, feminazi, or SJW would do, which as a result is pretty much damaging your image. This next part is him pretty much self-promoting his own work, which is irrelevant to what he is actually talking about. Again, no surprise. However, there is one particular moment in this self-promotion that is pretty much says everything about this guy. And let's just say that any credibility this guy somewhat had has been destroyed completely by what he's about to say. Just take a listen. Cool Cat is good for children. And for all you people that see those BS reviews out there, you know, the ones I've shut down. Hey, did you hear that? Let's listen to that shit again. And for all you people that see those BS reviews out there, you know, the ones I've shut down. It should be obvious by now that he's not doing this because he thinks it's infringing upon his copyright, 
but because he can't handle negative opinions of his movie. He feels as if these reviews are personal attacks on him and that he needs to do something about it. Honestly, it needs to be said right here and right now. If you work in an art form, whether it be writing music, writing, music, movie making, game design, dance, etc., it's a very important skill to handle criticism. In fact, it's required. I think it should be known that every good artist values criticism. If you can't handle one little negative thing said about your work, then I think it's best that you stay out of the entertainment industry unless you can learn to accept it. And for a long time, I did actually think you were an honest and respectful man who was mature and actually had a sense of humor. Or at least I thought. But as it turns out, I was lied to. You see, I'm a very, I'm a very moralistic type man. In my eyes, there's right and there's wrong. There ain't much middle ground, especially in the day's ground. Either you're doing right or you're doing wrong. And ripping somebody off is wrong. And that's why I file copyright infringement strikes against these people to get my content off. They weren't fucking stealing from you. They were offering their constructive critiques of your film while using footage from the film to illustrate their arguments. People have been doing this shit for years, even before YouTube's conception. Also, I need you to understand this. AVGN, Nostalgia Critic, IGN, Screw Attack, Wax Mojo, PewDiePie, JonTron, and many others have been doing the exact same thing that you're giving I Hate Everything shit about, yet nobody is freaking out over them. And you know why? It's simple. Because what you're doing, because what they are doing lies under fair use. And, sa and the same goes for I Hate Everything and all the those other people who you are unfairly oppressing. I mean, they didn't even have the, the common courtesy to even contact me to try to get my permission to use it. And that is a very important war that we're about to address right here, right there. Permission. Whenever you're dealing with something that's copyrighted, that someone has time and money invested in to make, you damn well better write them and beg them for their permission or ask them for their permission. And if they say no, then you don't touch it for nothing. You uneducated moron! It's said by fair use law that no permission is needed when writing a news report about a subject or using footage for a, m a movie or video game review. Derek, use your head! The next section of this video is him pretty much going over previous cases of copyright infringement, like the Rogers vs. Koontz incident, and cases like that. And for the most part, he does provide mostly valid arguments. However, this does bring up a couple, some questioning things about this video and what he is trying to get across for the most part. For one, well, let's look back at those videos he took down. You see, the main difference between those reviews and those infringement cases is that while those like Jeff Koons fail to provide a different meaning with their ripoff art, those reviews that you took down did actually provide a different meaning and purpose. And second, and most importantly, Derek never really explains how fair use actually works. Yeah, sure. He does go over copyright infringement and cases that surround it, but he practically forgets about fair use. But it's obvious why he never brings it up. It's because if he did, then he pretty much would bl blow his own cover, seeing as how those reviews fall under all the requirements of fair use. This also proves my point that he took down those videos purely out of frustration that people are criticizing his work. Please refer to one of my earlier points, Mr. Savage. 
Bottom line, even when it comes to water bottles, if you look in movies, I took the label off this because I don't want any problems. You can't, I mean, you can get busted for doing that right there, having, showing bottles if you're trying to make a profit off of it. It's funny how you bring that up. Do you actually ignore the JVC logo on your camera that you are blatantly and unawaringly showing off? Hell, your Cool Cat movie showed off plenty of licensed property ranging from iPhone, Windows, Apple, Smurfs, Jurassic Park, Hard Rock Cafe, and Van Freakin' Halen, and the list goes on. Guys, this is part one. Part two is coming tomorrow, and now you know who to direct your hate toward, and it's not Cool Cat, so get busy. And in the meantime, be sure to get your Cool Cat Saves the Kids feature film, the anti-bullying and kids' gun safety movie. And also, everybody needs a Cool Cat Loves You t-shirt, available in both adult and small sizes. Available on eBay or visit CoolCatLovesYou.com. Take care. Well, that pretty much just wraps up this video. In conclusion, Derek Savage isn't a bad guy. He's just an ignorant old man who's butthurt about his movie being criticized and doesn't understand fair use. However, I bet plenty of people, including me, would easily forgive him if he were to realize his mistake delete his video on copyright, and apologize to all those who he attacked. However, considering how he has been pretty much acting recently, I doubt he would actually do that. The worst part about this, though, is that he may never, is, this may never be fairly resolved, and that Derek may can probably continue to act like this man-child ape that he has been acting like recently. However, even if that is the case, at the very least, the truth about Derek Savage has been spread throughout and people have been acting upon it. And even well-known YouTubers like Cat Icarus, Proto Mario, and the Armored Skeptic, to name a few, have been supportive of the situation. YMS, in particular, who even supported Derek Savage and is or was going to be in the new gun safety movie, has responded to Derek Savage's video with that had responded to Derek Savage with a video that absolutely wrecks Derek Savage and his garbage logic. So in the end, it's Derek Savage who is the true loser. Anyways, I'm done here. After I upload this video, I want nothing to do with Derek Savage or Cool Cat ever again. I'm just done with this garbage. This drama has just been too much for me to handle. And this crap took up, took up too much of my time that I could have been using to work on my Sonic reviews. But I had to get this out of the way. I had no choice. But now, it's all over. Well, for me at least. This is the Newman from Packland signing out. Oh, and my Sonic CD review is coming out shortly. So be sure to look forward to that.